All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to go to photop.com. And when you get here, it should look like this. And you should be able to scroll right down and see this. So this does not require flash. It should open right up. Then you are going to go to File. You're going to go to Open. You are going to go to Desktop, where you pulled your image from the previous video. And you're going to open it. Now my image is upside down. If you don't mind working with your image upside down, you can leave it there. Or if your image came up right, you don't have to do this step. If yours does come up some other way, you can transform, you can go to image, transform, and either rotate it 90 degrees if it's sideways or rotate 180, which gets you right to front ways up. Now, the first thing you are going to do is crop, and that is this tool right here. You're going to go to Crop Tool. When you click that, the things up here change. Now, we want to do a fixed ratio. So you want to come up here where it says free and turn it into a fixed ratio. If you leave your ratio as one by one, that means you're going to crop to a square. Now that for this project, I am giving you the option. You can crop to a square or you can change your ratio to a three to four ratio. Which is, a rec which is the standard rectangle. When you do this, no matter which point you pull from, it will automatically keep it as the rectangle. Now, you're going to crop it. Now, if you wanted to do it a sideways rectangle, you would change this to 4 to 3. And see, that's regular. Now, I think I am going to do mine as a square. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do mine as a vertical rectangle. So three, two, four. And I'm going to pull it down. So you want to crop out some of the background. You want to crop out anything else. You want to think about, as you're doing this, where is your, how you want to not just center your portrait. So don't just crop it the same way it was before. Play around with how you're cropping. Remember that you can crop out certain features if you want to like crop out the top of your head so you don't have to deal with your hair as much. Or you could, um, but you need to make sure to leave three features. So if I go to crop and I, can, I could even crop it down to here so that all I have are the two eyes and the nose. Realize eventually you are going to take at least one of your features and turn it into food. So you might not want to do that crop, but it is entirely up to you. You can crop your image any kind of way you want. I kind of like that image. It gives me some background space here. It gives me some hair to play with, and it gives me some features to play with. So then you are going to hit enter, and then your image is cropped. Then you are going to go to image. You are going to go to adjustments and you're going to scroll down to desaturate, which gets rid of all of the color because we're going to print these black and white and your final is eventually going to be done in black and white. So you want a black and white version. That is not, and then there is one more step. Image, adjust, brightness, contrast. Oops, sorry, and adjust, brightness, contrast. You want to pull this over so you can look at your image and you want to tweak the adjustment. So you want to increase, maybe increase the contrast. You want to be able to see good lights, mediums, and darks. So you don't want to do this or this. You don't want to lose your image altogether. You want to pull it so that it just looks like a even more. So there are, like, if I get there, see now I can see that there are darks here, but there's two, there's not enough mediums. I pull the brightness down, now I can see there are lights here. So you're going to pull it so that the brightness and contrast, you don't have to use the settings that mine have. Depending on your image, you might need to tweak it even more. You want to make sure that you can see all your features, that they all kind of stand out. Play this a little bit more. There we go. Now I can see the line of my nose because the cheek is a different value. I'm getting some nice darks. Uh, let's lower the contrast just a little bit. Increase, uh, decrease the brightness. There we go. So now it is a very high contrast image, which is going to make it easier for the next step. So, or actually a couple steps from now. And then you're going to hit OK. 
All right, so now you're going to change the name of the file. You're going to double click here where it says the name and you are going to turn it to your last name, final. So Chesser final and then click OK. Then you are going to file export as JPEG. You're going to make sure to pull the quality. Your, if your quality is anywhere here, you want to make sure the per, it's set to percentage and it's at 100%. You want to pull the quality all the way up to 100 and then click Save. It's then going to, you're going to show in Finder and it looks like it put, put it into my downloads file. So I am going to drag it to my desktop so that it's easy for me to find to turn into Canvas. You are then going to turn in that file to the Canvas assignment. If you know how to do that, you can just do that now. If you don't, you can watch the next video.